It's not personal. It's just business. Know the difference. How to separate your business life from your personal life. Hi there, we're back with another Seller's Planet video. Today, we're going to discuss the importance of keeping your business and personal lives separate. How to maintain a healthy balance between personal life and business. Why you should keep business and personal life separate. One of the biggest challenges that businesses face is keeping their personal lives separate from their business lives. This is where most business owners lose focus, create problems, and feel like failures. It's easy to do this with small companies because they're not so scary. But when you have a big company, it can be harder to keep things separate. The first step to a healthy, happy life is to learn the difference between business and personal life. Business can either be something you deeply enjoy or find emotionally rewarding, or it can be a venture that you feel is necessary but happens largely due to external constraints like finances, family, and entrepreneurship demands. Doing so not only gives your business the foundation it needs to stand on, but it also allows for a healthier lifestyle for you and those around you. How to preserve a work-life balance Number 1. Zero Tolerance Policy for Office Drama Okay, so most of us have experienced conflict in some capacity at work, and once you've been exposed to it, you may start thinking it's normal. This can be because we've created a sense of normalcy around conflict, that it's just part of the job so we don't think about it anymore or even see it as anything negative. Drama is a powerful force in any workplace. It can ruin your relationships, affect productivity, and lower morale. Avoiding drama at your place of business can help preserve work-life balance. Drama can drain productivity, morale, and quality. It can also lead to infighting and ultimately make it hard for an employee to do their best work. It's important to identify potential sources of drama in the office so you can curb issues before they get out of hand. Number 2. Zero Tolerance Policy for Fraternization Among Employees Fraternization between co-workers is considered a form of conflict that can lead to jealousy and low morale. If you want your employees to feel appreciated and inspired by their work environment, it's important to create policies that will prevent fraternization in your workplace. This is one of the more controversial topics, but that doesn't take away from the fact that many issues can arise when people are allowed to live together. Fraternization may be desirable for certain types of jobs, but if you run a business that's just starting to grow, this may not be ideal. Number 3. Having Separate Social Media Accounts for Business Have you ever wondered why companies tend to have separate social media accounts for their business and personal ones? What's the benefit of having a separate account from your personal one? Is it really important? You might want to post your business updates as well as personal updates on one social media account. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to having both accounts on the same page. A good example would be an official company blog or Facebook page that is used to communicate with customers, generate new leads, and attract investors. This account should be kept separate from your personal channels like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram just in case you are doing business with someone else. Nowadays, people are starting to realize that it is important to have a separate social media account for your business besides your personal one. Even if you only have a small number of followers on your personal page, it can still act as a channel of promotion for your business, which suits your situation perfectly. Number 4. Setting Boundaries in the Place of Business An entrepreneur needs to set boundaries in their place of business. You should decide when and how long you will work. When you do work, especially on site, it is good to have clear boundaries. Boundaries help you feel more in control. The first step to setting boundaries is knowing what they are and then identifying and clearly defining them. Boundaries keep us safe, healthy, and comfortable. They help us avoid or overcome challenges, and they do not let others get us down or make us feel unhappy. When we have clear boundaries in our lives and our businesses, we can have a good time while fulfilling our career objectives. Number 5. Dedicate time to blow off steam Sick of working? Well, so is everyone else. It's not just about that extra bit of productivity you get from keeping your finger on the pulse of what your team needs, 
as well as being aware of how far off track your business is, but also how staff can be better rested. Employees who work regularly and for long hours can begin to feel burnt out and unable to concentrate fully on their work. Are you taking time for yourself and your family? Are you encouraging your employees to do the same? If not, why not? It's good for the both of you. Taking some time off is important for both your mental health and your work performance. Ever wonder why people are so frequently on the go in business? Why are they always busy working away from home? We've been conditioned to believe that success means working all day every day and not having time for anything else. But how can you be successful if you don't have time for the things that make you happy? Separating your business and personal lives can be beneficial in many ways. In general, when you have more space between your business and personal lives, you take better care of yourself and can perform at a higher level. Here is a list of recently asked questions about it's not personal, it's just business. Should I have a different phone number for business? Yes, do not share your personal phone with your business phone. Also, try to make sure that the things that you're working on at work aren't being discussed at home, which helps avoid any conflict of interest. Should I have a different email address for business? Yes. Keep your personal and professional lives separate by using different email addresses. Don't share any personal information about yourself with employees, which helps you maintain a professional appearance. How do I manage my personal and business events and activities? Keep your personal and professional lives separate by using a personal calendar, which you can use to schedule all events. This way, you know what's happening in your personal life but you don't have to worry about it interfering with work. Also, make sure that your work email is set up so that it doesn't automatically forward to your personal email address. This way, even if a customer asks about your product or service, they're not going to get an answer from you when you're at home. If you want to learn more about smart business ideas and keep up with trends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If this video helped you in any way, give us a like. That'll help us immensely in reaching more people who can use this information. And if you have any follow-up questions, drop them in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching.